you are new in this country you don't have any credit you don't have any credit card so all you need to do first you need to apply credit cards okay What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, your local incredible realtor with EXP Realty. Today, I'm gonna give you my few tips how to get your credit score fast so that when you apply for your mortgage, they will give you a less interest rate. Compare, if you have a bad credit, they will still give you a mortgage but the interest rate will be quite high. I would like to say first, before I start this video, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And also, if you enjoy this video, please smash that like button for me. And also make sure to watch this video from this start until the end because I will give you my best knowledge so that when you apply for a mortgage, you will get like less interest rate. All right. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So my first tip I'm going to show you or I'm going to tell you is if you don't have a credit score right now, what we need to do is get your credit score going. So for example, if you are new in this country or if you are new in the place and you don't have any credit, you don't have any credit card. So all you need to do first is you need to get your your credit so you need to apply credit cards okay so this is the tricky thing that you need to remember you need to apply at least three credit cards and then if you have a three credit card so it means like they will have some option for you when they run your credit it's not just like one credit card or one credit that they could run you and then they will say oh you only have one credit card so they will just think like why only one so you need to get some option for them to get your credit running and also once you have at least three credit cards so it means like you are responsible for paying all those three so it means like when you have like different kind of credit cards and once you are paying on time and using your credit so it means like they could trust you that you can pay your multiple accounts in your credit card okay that's the number one or important thing that you need to remember apply credit card if you don't have any credit at all so my second tip that i'm gonna show you is make sure once you have your credit card and you use your credit card pay on time okay a lot of people saying yes i have like multiple credit cards i have three four five six seven but the thing is though you're using your credit card but do you pay on time because remember if you have a lot of credit and then it's good but if you don't pay on time what will happen is obviously they will think the loan officer that will run your credit oh this is good he has got a lot of credit but you don't pay on time so what will happen is the lender or the bank who will lend you money for mortgage they won't trust you to give you some credit or interest rate because you know pay, you don't pay on time so make sure that you need to pay on time because that's crucial imagine if you have a mortgage every month you need to pay on time otherwise what will happen to your house it will go to foreclosure and then you will lose your home right so make sure you pay on time once you have your credit okay so that's my tip number two let's go to my tip number three so tip number three is like make sure once you use your credit card don't just use your one credit card all right if let's say if you have like three multiple credit cards so this is what i do personally right i'm gonna give you my personal use for my credit card number one is for food expenses all right I have a food expenses obviously we need to eat right so i use my one of my credit card just for the food okay so that's what i would do to my credit card and then second credit card what i use is for is for my car expenses okay so what i do for my car expenses i will use for fuel i will use for car maintenance if i need to change my tire if i need to change my brakes i just use that particular credit card for those specific expenses okay so lastly if i have another credit card what I will do for that another credit card is I will use for my personal use if I need to buy a new clothes, a new shoes, or a new shirt. I will use that particular credit card and then after I use them, as I said earlier, I make sure that I pay on time. You don't have to pay the full amount of your credit or your credit card. All you need to do is they have like a minimum credit that you need to pay. So make sure that you are paying those minimum amount because otherwise once you don't pay that one you will have a record saying yeah this guy using the credit but they don't pay on time that's what i mean about paying on time and also using your credit okay you need to remember those and next one my 
next tip that I'm gonna say is if you have a big credit expenses and let's say you own this credit card for $5,000 okay you don't really need to pay them off straight away if you can't do it obviously right so what you need to do is you need to set a budget because if you don't have any budget what will happen is like your credit card will get some more interest every single month if you don't pay them on time or if you if you don't set a budget for it so I'll give you for example like what kind of budget you need to do so this is what you need to do you need to set something for for those particular credit card let's say this credit card give you like a interest rate of hundred dollars per month if you don't pay it so what I would do is I would pay at least minimum of two hundred dollars every month I will just separate that money to make sure that I will pay this credit card every time that my payment is due I will pay them straight away like a two hundred dollars so instead of they getting you a hundred dollars per month interest you don't have to worry about that so you are doubling your payment from that credit card of five thousand dollars I hope that makes sense so what will happen is if that credit card has a limit I wouldn't say don't use that limit at all all right just use that credit card regularly and make sure you just pay them regularly because what will happen is if you use your credit let's say oh I want to max this one I have like five thousand ten thousand or even fifteen thousand in my credit card I will max it you can do that but make sure that you can pay it on time all right because otherwise once again the more debt that you have and what will happen in the future you will sacrifice it will hard for you to pay for that debt what will happen is like yes you can use that credit card right now and then after a year two years or three years can you even pay that 15 grand debt in your credit card so make sure that you use your money wisely at the same time okay don't use that money if you cannot afford it or don't use that credit if you cannot afford it paying it on time because that's what bank does they will give you more but make sure that you pay them because if not it will go to your account all right and then if you don't pay them as well like in particular time not even like every single month or let's say you just miss like few payments like in the last three months what will happen is interest rates going in like in 15,000 let's say you have like $300 per month interest rate it's huge so if you times that three in three months you have like $900 straight away in that credit or in that credit card that you need to pay over time all right so avoid those things so what you can do is like only use the credit card if it's necessary if you want to use it make sure you can pay it all right so that's my tip for that one and my last tip for this particular video is make sure that your credit card you're gonna use for not just for multiple accounts but you need to do is you need to have like a credit score report what you can do about credit score report is you can ask your bank or you know the credit card that you are using to give you a credit card report for example um, what I do in my bank we have like an online app here in my phone all right so I can track how much money that I spend every single time I use my credit card and also in different kind of banks because I have like multiple banks that I use and then what I do is like I always ask them at least like once a week or maybe twice a month to give me a credit report so that I could see what is going on on my credit report so if you have like let's say 700 credit score right now what I will do is I will keep on track all right I will write them down if I have to and then after a week or maybe two weeks or three weeks time I will ask them to run my credit as well it's free by the way you don't have to pay for that because I know I hate paying but once you do that one so you know how your credit card doing if you get your credit card this month for 700 and the next month you see you run your credit again in that particular credit card company they give you like 690 and then you can ask them why my credit gotten low for 10 points or you know they will explain you why your credit is gone low for 10 20 30 or 40 or 50 maybe you miss a payment or maybe you didn't pay on time all right because every single step here they will add that in your account so if you are paying on time instead of losing 10 points in your credit what will happen they will add that for the next following that you run it sometimes or normally what the credit card or credit card company does they will give you like at least 10 points every single month if you are paying on time and if you use your credit card regularly so that's why I do when I use my credit card and especially if I use it I make sure that I pay on time I will give you a bonus one for this one the bonus one for this one is make sure that if you are using your credit card and then you are going to pay it on time as well this is what you need to 
to do get the points as well because see i love getting points i know it's only little points but those little points what you can get and you can get that cash back to your credit so it means like that cash back when you're using your credit card you will get like at least a hundred dollar cash back ten dollars fifty sixty you know it depends on the credit card company for the promotion that they're doing so what i will do is once i using my credit card i could see how much cash back that i could get and i use that cash back either to spend it or to bring to my credit to pay for my credit that i use so that i will pay on time all right does it make sense so that's what i do personally because you know if you don't do this stuff and then if you're planning to buy a property and ask for this loan officer or the bank like hey i want to get my loan can you please give me some loan they will first thing that they will do is write your credit so remember this thing but that's most important right also the last one i'm not saying i am i am what? i am just a realtor i am not a lender but this is what i do personally it's up to you if you're gonna follow these steps or if not you know i wish you all the best so this is the video for today i hope this video is helpful if it does smash that like button for me and also if you stay in this video until this end comment down below or comment here credit report so i could see how many people who want to run their credit and if you need some more information if you need some more help regarding real estate feel free to call me text me email me or inbox me in any all my social media and i'll be happy to help you all right i know i'm talking too much so i'm ending my video today once again thank you for watching and i'll see you on my next video peace so what you need to do is oh what am i gonna say then i forgot Let's take second chance, part two.